My name is Moises Gois. I am 45 years old. I am a psychologist. I am a computer technician. And I have a PhD in neurosciences. I am dedicated to helping people manage their energy, but not in an esoteric sense. In science, energy is the ability to do work. We know that energy is transformed from mechanical energy to heat energy to electromagnetic energy and to various types of potential energy. We, human beings, need energy to stay alive. This energy comes from the fats, carbohydrates and proteins we eat through an oxidation process we call digestion, which consists of breaking down large molecules to make them smaller, which releases heat energy and recovers potential energy in the form of a chemical and electrical potential energy. This energy is consumed to keep us alive since all our physiological processes need energy. From the functioning of our organs, the production of hormones, and the different apparatuses and systems that compose us. Among them our immune system. In that state of equilibrium, and with a good supply of nutrients and energy, our body functions almost perfectly. But we also need to take action in order to survive our environment. In nature, a human needs to hunt, flee, anticipate risk, move away from dangerous individuals, and sometimes even go as far as aggression to survive. Each of these different actions requires a different configuration with respect to energy distribution. These are low entropy configurations because instead of a uniformly distributed energy configuration, our body prioritizes specific functions. For example, if we have an encounter with a predator, our body will prioritize breathing, heart rate, and leg muscles in order to run, among other things, of course. So that energy in the form of chemical energy and electrical potential, that it is usually more or less evenly distributed, will be borrowed from organs and systems that have a very high consumption. We are talking about our brain, digestion, and secondary support systems, but above all this, our own immune system. This mechanism is known as stress. Stress prepares us to take action and is triggered by our emotions. Each emotion we feel alters us with a specific form of stress, which generates a distortion in the distribution of our energy. That distortion consists of an excess of energy that it is specifically located at one point and a lack of energy that it is specifically located at a different point, which is where the energy was borrowed from. A human can experience emotions from prolonged periods of time to the point where they condition our body to maintain these distortions indefinitely. This phenomenon was studied by my father 33 years ago. He called these permanent distortions 
biomagnetic pairs, which are a new way of understanding diseases directly at their origins. Our body and our cells, blood and extracellular fluids mostly needs a neutral environment, a uniform distribution of our energy, a pH 7 plus minus 0.3. Within this small margin, our body has all the necessary elements to maintain our health. In fact, the cure for all diseases already exist. We call it immune system. Our immune system is capable of creating antibodies and solutions to every possible disease, including cancer, SARS-CoV-2, bacterial infections, parasites, and fungi. As long as our biology has a good balance, in fact, people who efficiently manage their energy simply do not develop diseases like, for example, COVID-19. They are immune or asymptomatic. This special disposition for entropy is called by doctors homeostasis state, but my dad call it normal energetic level. Entropy is key for the maintenance of a normal energetic level. All we need is to preserve a high level of entropy. But what is entropy? The beautiful mechanism with which the universe works. Things happen in a way simply because it is most likely to happen. Chaos tend to form natural structures that appear designed just because those arrangements are the most likely of all possibilities. But this is only fulfilled with a single requirement, randomness, that is the absolute lack of control. Our body needs all kinds of variables available to perform a multitude of processes. Our body requires random access to all sorts of supplies. We get sick mostly because a lack of entropy, for example, in our daily diet. Agriculture, domestication, food processing, food quality controls, trends, and basically all the control elements affecting our food processes, it has lost the sense of randomness of nature, that it is entropy. But the lack of entropy affects other ambits, air conditioning, artificial light, a sedentary lifestyle, routines, and our modern thinking. This is one of the most important factors because all the mental processes that seek control of variables such as attachments, the sense of belonging, the need of control, uncertainty, envy, guilt, and many other processes triggers our emotions, generating stress and with it a series of biological reactions designed to transform our physiology in order to respond to a threat from nature. We lose the delicate balance of our bodies, the normal energetic level. This creates a distortion that my dad names biomagnetic pair. When a biomagnetic pair is created, an exchange of hydrogen ions occurs. They go from one or several organs to other organs. For example, from the liver to the pancreas or from the stomach to the muscles. This ion exchange generates a low entropy imbalance. When a biomagnetic pair is created, 
an organ lends hydrogen ions to another one, which causes a pH change in both organs. One goes towards acidity and the other towards alkalinity. So a biomagnetic pair is a low entropy energy distortion that generates resonance between two different points in our body. Those two points have opposite polarity but are of equal intensity. In a biomagnetic pair, one organ ends up with an excess of hydrogen ions and creates a positive charge. And the organ from where those hydrogen ions were borrowed creates a negative charge. Both chargers are in resonance in a low entropy harmonic arrangement because one lacks exactly one of the elements that the other has in excess. On one side, in the positive side, hyperacidic environment develops. And for that reason, these consequences. Hyperacidity. Contraction of tissues. Organ dysfunctions, pathogenic virus, pathogenous fungi, crystallization of tissues, and retractile degeneration. And in the other side, in the negative side, hyperalkalinity, distension of tissues, organ dysfunctions, pathogenic bacteria, presence of parasites, colloids, and degeneration by lysis. There are two polarities in a biomagnetic pair. These polarities appear simultaneously in two different organs. Through magnetic fields, it is possible to determine the location of the different charges that produce these distortions. But it is also possible to manipulate these charges, since magnetism interacts directly with the electricity of our body. Placing a negative charge of a magnet in direct contact with the area of the body where is located a negative distortion, and simultaneously placing a positive charge of a magnet in direct contact with the area of the body where is located a positive distortion. Each of these charges pushes their respective distortion out of their original location, because like charges repel, reject each other. And then something surprising happens. As these two distortions are of different polarity, there comes a time when those charges attract each other. And then the entropy is restored. The distortions are neutralized. The pH is normalized. The state of homeostasis is restored. The pathogens are fought, the degenerations are rehabilitated, the distortion disappear, the health is restored, and the disease is eliminated. This is how biomagnetic pair works. My father, Dr. Isaac Goyce, worked for years on hundreds of thousands of patients to identify the specific location of, of all these energy disturbances and thus generated a map of the specific location of these distortions, which identified a person's vulnerability to develop a specific disease. Doing this job was not easy at all. He had to identify with laboratory tests how each pathogen generates a specific distortion in our body, to the point that it is now possible to do it in the other way around, to find a distortion that can identify 
in most cases, the vulnerability to a specific pathogen. He has to do hundreds of thousands of statistical and laboratory studies to develop what he called the biomagnetic bird therapy that allow us to identify more than 250 different biomagnetic birds that identify a similar number of pathogens and diseases. Imagine that through a simple test, you can know with absolute precision each organic dysfunction and vulnerability to specific pathogens. Being able to also correct each of these distortions either to avoid a disease in the future or help your body to recover the concrete ability to fight against a disease that currently affects you in the present. Because, as I said, the cure for all diseases already exists and lies with us. It simply does not work efficiently. The biomagnetic pair is a technique that identifies and repairs these energy distortions so that our body and its own systems can do the job they learn through evolution to keep us alive and healthy.